Greetings! Today, I have what looks like a simple looking primary school geometry problem that could well be the hardest geometry question you have ever encountered. We are given a triangle ABC such that angle ACB is 80 degrees and angle ABC is 20 degrees. Furthermore, we are told that the length of AC is equal to the length of BD. Can you find the value of the angle ADC? Why don't you pause the video here and give this question a good try? Now, if you are unable to solve this, consider yourself in good company. So let's go through this problem. Firstly, you've probably worked out that angle CAB is 80 degrees using the sum of angles in a triangle. This tells us that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. But now we are stuck. So how can we use the fact that sides AC and DB are equal? So the trick here is that we need to add some extra lines and force out an equilateral triangle. The first step here is to construct another congruent isosceles triangle that is congruent to our original triangle ABC. And this time we're going to use DB as the base. Since the two triangles are congruent, then in our new isosceles triangle, the base angles are also 80 degrees. This allows us to find angle EBA, which is going to be 80 degrees, take away the 20 degrees, so that is 60 degrees. Now, notice that this 60 degree angle is sandwiched between two equal edges of AB and EB. And just by adding the line AE, we can now form an equilateral triangle. So this allows us to find angle AED, which will be 60 degrees, take away 20 degrees, which is 40 degrees. And since the side AE is also equal to the side ED, we have an isosceles triangle here. This allows us to find the base angle, angle EDA, to be 70 degrees. Using the sum of angles on a straight line, we can now find our unknown angle ADC to be 180 degrees, take away the 80, take away the 70, leaving us 30 degrees. So our answer is 30 degrees. Did you get it? There are some alternative approaches for secondary school students. If this question was to come out for the SMO, you can consider brute force approaches like coordinate bashing or trigonometry bashing which is far, far less elegant. For example, trigonometry bashing goes something like this. Consider triangle ACD. You apply the sine rule. You see that sine x plus 20 over the opposite side of AC is equal to sine 80 over the side AD. Next, you consider triangle ABD instead. Sine rule here tells you that sine of x over the opposite side BD where BD is equal to AC is equal to sine of 20 over the opposite side of AD. Then, after a long and painful series of calculations, you can probably evaluate x to be 10, so the final answer will be x plus 20, which is 30 degrees, but this is such a long and painful method. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fun little primary school question. Thank you for your kind attention and have a great day of learning.